Okay, so we've already logged in as admin, and uh, now we need to configure a few things. First thing what we need to do, you look at these tabs over here, it has drop down menu. We need to go to settings and then click on system settings first. And here we go. Uh, the application name is web calendar, this is this URL. If you want to give a home URL, that's fine too. I could give it uh, HTTP TRM sites KCI contacts. I mean, this is uh, uh, something that uh, is on our intranet uh, that I can use. Then uh, language is browser defined, which is English US, and allow user to use themes. I don't want them to use themes. We can preview some themes. Let's say this is none. There's no theme. This is the default theme. Uh, let's look at touch of gray. See how that looks like. This is the kind of uh, appearance. Spring. Uh, this doesn't look very good. Let's look at uh, autumn. Uh, this looks uh, interesting, but uh, I think the best would be a touch of gray because uh, it's, it's perfect. Uh, all right, now I could actually have custom scripts or uh, style sheets included in this. I can have a custom header over here and custom trailer if I want to have something on top over here uh, saying, uh, you know, some tabs, some links. I can uh, define that with this uh, 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 buttons over here. Okay, allow external file for script. No, I don't want to do that. Now, date and time. This is very important. We need to change it to Los Angeles. And these are the date format, which is all uh, US custom. I can change it also. Uh, these are the different options. Okay, now week starts on Monday. And uh, the weekend starts on Saturday. It's a 12 hour. Uh, format and it starts from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Let's make it 6 p.m. And uh, appearance preview is month. I mean, when you log on, it'll give you the preview of the whole month and it'll allow pop ups, date selected. These are the some of the default setting. We already just worry about a few of the things that we need to change here. Uh, this is let's keep it all at default. Uh, display day and month, this is fine, end time, display end times on Calic, uh, well, 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 I don't think we need to change any of these things. Okay, allow viewer, viewing other users calendar, yes, require event approval, yes, display unapproved, yes, check for event conflicts, yes, conflicts, checking for how many months, six months, okay, that's good. Allow user to override conflicts, yes. Limit number of uh, timed events per day, no. You can have unlimited events per day. And uh, disable cross day event, which is no. We don't want to disable it. Now, this is for events. I mean, there's another module called events. Right now, we don't want to activate that. So let's leave that alone. Pop ups, disable pop ups, no. Uh, display side extras and pop up display participants in pop-ups you could choose yes or no but let's choose it yes remember last login yes brief description in length is 80 we'll have first name and last name user sort order so this is done next thing what we need to do is uh, the email enable email yes uh, default sender email, I would say, I'll put mine, kumar at kidneycenter.com, and we'll use an SMTP server. Not this, SMTP is the best. I have my SMTP server at, which is an exchange server, 1.17, and there is no authentication required, which is fine, and uh, we are all set, actually. And we save the settings my settings are done and now uh, one more thing that I need to do is 
I need to look at preferences and change my time zone. By default it's New York, so I need to change it to Los Angeles. That's all we need to do and we are all set here. Now let's uh, look at my calendar. This is the home and uh, this is my calendar by default it shows me the default date which is 22nd of April I'm gonna create a few users because I'm the administrator I want to first create users nobody else can create users except the administrator so I'm going to say user manager and there's only one user here default administrator and star denotes that it's an administrative user so I'll add another user first and I'll call it username is Kumar by the way in this the username is also case sensitive so that is something that you need to remember Kumar last name is Ulal and uh, email address is Kumar at kidneycenter.com and my password which I usually use okay and I will choose this guy to be an admin user so changes have been made and it should show up here now this denotes that Kumar Ullal is also an administrator I'll add one more user I'll call it uh, username Wong first name Dr. Calbert last name Wong and uh, I'll check his email address but I think it's uh, it's Wong at kidneycenter.com and I'm gonna assign a password for him and uh, he's not an admin user so that's done and uh, that's about it let me uh, talk about creating an events and stuff like that in the next video